It's the Vegas Toy Squadcast, starring Vegas Toy Squad. Hey everyone, and welcome to season two of VTS, the Vegas Toy Squad, with episode number 32. Wow. There's a lot of twos. Yes. Season two, season opener, right here. There we go. Yeah. Big season premiere. Welcome back. Sounds like there's much rejoicing in the background. Yay. We've uh, <laughs> missed you. I'm sure you've missed us. Twelve of you. This long summer. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm just saying. Thirteen, my mom watches sometimes. Uh, oh, Yay. Hey. Yeah, hi, mom. All right, all right. <laughs> But we're back now and we're uh, going strong. So I'm oh, sure we are sponsored by Grouchy Johns today, <laughs> unofficially. <laughs> yes. Unofficially, <laughs> but I had to make the coffee run beforehand. So hey, See? if you got to get coffee, it should be a Grouchy Johns. That's right. So Grouchy Johns, there you go. There's your shout out. Got to start off season two correctly. That's right. <laughs> All right, we got some new stuff for you this season, um, and some favorites coming at you. Um, we're gonna start something with a little segment that. Uh, Rob thought up, so you want to tell us what we're going to do? Uh, the... Well, this is, we've always kind of come here and shown something or talked about something, but we have a, a name for it now. It's called, What Are You Bringing to the Table? There we go. It sounds official, but it's really just All the right. same. But we're going to try and keep it briefer. <laughs> we figured if we named it, that would help us keep it shorter. There you go. So, but we should introduce ourselves because oh, we may have true. new viewers slash that's listeners. That's right. And just... Who don't know who Vegas Toy Squad are. If you don't know who Vegas Toy Squad is, then... Welcome. Listen up. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? I said, welcome. welcome. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> no. something else. No, he said welcome. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's not past me to say stuff like yeah. that. But... My name is Rick. I'm Frank. I'm Rob. I'm Patty. Patty in the back there, our producer, and with us today, our very Lovely special guest. guest. Hi, I'm Michelle. Michelle. Ooh. Welcome back, Michelle. Thanks. Third time on the I squad. Know. That's a charm. That's a, charm. That's a first, I think. Is no, that a second. No. Because oh. we've, had two, yeah. we've actually had two, two. third timers. Yeah, two. So would we be considered recurring roles? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Minor, okay. minor wow. cast members. Okay. okay. My Pat, guess. Pat, Nate, and Michelle. <laughs> okay. So pretty right. soon that's you guys right, are going right. to get a robe, just like the SNL five times. Oh, I love that episode. That's coming okay. soon. Okay, well, I can't wait. You guys, are, you'll, you'll be also starring. Okay, like We're I can take starring that. Vegas Toy Squad. Right. Also starring. Right. Nate, Pat, Michelle. Perfect. And recurring roles. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, some high recurring. <laughs> so yes, we're uh, excited because the new television schedule is... Uh, Upon us, mm -hmm. the fall season, so Michelle has come to uh, show you I do nothing but watch TV. Which is <laughs> not true because Michelle does more than any oh. other person I know, but and also, also watches watch TV, TV. So she just yeah. doesn't sleep. Like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, she also sleeps. I, do. I go to bed at like, <laughs> I don't know how, how she this, does I'm going it. home and going to bed. Yeah, me too. I really I don't, don't know you. how she fits it all in, but Crazy. she does everything. <laughs> yeah. So. So what I have brought to the table today is uh, my nostalgia. I am in a oh. nostalgia trip lately, and uh, none of you on the panel are going to have any idea what these are, probably. I, I disagree. I right. think some of them are already familiar. Because you have, to be a, you have to be a certain age to know these books, and for if you're listening, I'm sorry, uh, but these are... I have the puppet storybooks, 3D puppet storybooks, uh, Oh my gosh. Wow. In the 70s, <laughs> yeah. I, I bought a couple lots of them on eBay. They have lenticular oh, covers. No. They're like three-dimensional. And inside is toy photography. These guys yeah. posed. They made all the puppets. They made all the... Uh, there's a, a couple of Japanese uh, I remember them. photographers. And... Uh, Made all the props, made all the I costumes. I thinking, why is that Indian naked? <laughs> <laughs> so here's... Uh, the Native American. They had all of the... Back then it was still PC. <laughs> all the... Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all the big fairy tales and whatnot. Uh, I have a little red riding hood here, but anyways. Yeah, I love them. If, I, if these were big in the 70s, I think. They came out in the late 60s. And then they were kind of picked up, but uh, anyways, I'm I'm on a real nostalgia thing lately. I think when you hit a certain age, you know, like 40, 50, uh, you start to look back. long for the past. What? Like, so, That's anyways, I bought this you? one for my daughter. This is wow. the Little Mermaid. This is, is not one I had when I was a kid, but uh, That's still really, really cool. cool one. Wow. That's awesome. So, anyways, it's 
as far as I know, I mean, other than product packaging and whatnot, it's one of the first examples of actual toy photography mm -hmm. for for toy photography's sake, you know. Cool. So, anyways. Those are neat. That had to be around the Puppet time when uh, the Rudolph movies are all oh, the... Yeah. Um, yeah, the claymation. Or the, yeah, 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 yeah. That stuff, so. Anyway. But I, rem I remember these books when I was little, too. Yeah, I had to find them in the uh, library. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Those you had older brothers, too, school. right? I have younger brothers. Younger actually. brothers, that's right. You're the yeah. old one. So... They were a... Uh, That's really dope. Yeah, like 70s it. thing. So, anyways. Very cool. And also, I have my new NECA figure, Ash. So, if you're just listening, uh, <laughs> it is an incredible likeness of Ash from the Evil Dead series. So and he came with extra heads? Uh, yes. yes. He came with four flipping heads. All amazing expressions. All those expressions. The yeah. detail in yeah. his teeth, in yeah. his tongue, uh, different hands. It's great. NECA has more it scares of me that money. you look that closely at it. <laughs> it is Bruce Campbell. His teeth and his tongue. Yeah. Excuse me. It is Bruce. She's, she's got all. Oh, she's a big fan. He's of got Bruce. a big fan. All of, of his teeth. I'm, I'm slightly, yeah. you know, into Bruce. All righty then. Yeah. Moving on. All right. Oh, that's right, because you guys are going next. Mm -hmm. Should I? I just brought one little thing to the table. The Marvel Legend right now that everybody's looking for. Well, is one of them. Storm? There's two of them. So this is mm -hmm. the new version of Storm mm -hmm. in the retro. Card. This is the uh, Ooh, like card that. version that they had of the X Men action figures in the '90s from Toy Biz. So this is Storm in her white uniform. This is one of the most sought after Marvel Legends right now. And luckily, I found her in the wild at a GameStop. Wow! Yeah, so, yeah you did. That is who my dog <laughs> is named go. after. Oh, wow, yeah. mm -hmm. I had a cat named after Storm. Mm -hmm. yeah. When people call her Stormy, I say no. It's, it's Storm. It's Storm. And she's a girl. <laughs> X-Men, anyone? So. so what did you bring? What I brought to the table is a combination of my shirt and my picture. I kind of wanted to pay homage to Luke Perry. Mm -hmm. um, yet also tell everyone that the new Beverly Hills 90210 is amazing. <laughs> it is junk. And it is trash. And that's why we love 90210 in the first place. And I just thought it was great. It's sad that Luke Perry's not on it. Yeah. But he's also, he was on Riverdale, so they're going to kind of pay tribute to him there. And Riverdale being one of the shows coming up, I just really liked that um, all the parents on Riverdale are actors that we all know. They they are. It's Molly, Molly Ringwald. Ringwald. Mark Consuelos is on it. Is uh, Madchen Amick in it also? I think, yep. Yes, she's and Skeet most. Ulrich yes, and Luke right. Perry then. So, yeah. yeah. So, I just, oh, Donna Martin anymore. graduates. Not anymore. <laughs> So he has, yeah. But I, this is why I donated blood. He donated blood on an episode of 90210 I on the, like that the second episode. season. And I thought if Luke Perry can donate blood, I too will donate blood. So that's Power why. of Luke. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Well, awesome. I guess that comes to me. And um, I'll bring to the table. I finally found, I know you guys, I've talked about this like for episodes and episodes I've talked about the boys but I said I would not read the rest of the boys until I found book number nine and I finally found it online uh, normally it's like around 30 bucks like 26 to 30 dollars I for, finally found for that for size, this for, for this a, book for, for your for, average normal graphic novel well normally they're like they're anywhere from 12 to 20 bucks yeah depends yeah it just depends. And Lord. if you got the right comic book store, they give you discounts on right. it. If you have a box, uh, for example, Cosmic Comic, they've hooked me up for years. Hashtag get your fix. Hashtag mm -hmm. get your fix. <laughs> <laughs> but, like I said, um, I had trouble finding this one. Because yeah. these are out of print now. And oh, okay. Since really? This yeah. is going to bring us into our new uh, episode here. Which is um, talking about television, and The Boys is now a television show. But I An finally awesome found this. Show. It is really awesome. I I, I honestly save it, boys. Save yeah, it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rain back for a second. I'm gonna rain back for a second. But this is the rawest comic I've ever read, <laughs> and it's raw. It's like it's hilarious, and it's just. It's so exposed, and just don't read it in public in front of anybody. You sure or read a lot of comics that you can't read in public. I, I right? do, but I don't know how I find them, but I do, okay. and then I'm just like... Because well, right, how did you find post them? that about Saga? Yeah. Uh, saga okay. 2, okay. Saga okay. 2, yeah, but I mean, I recommend it to Rick and David, the mistake I did with the boys. And, and he didn't tell and me about also that. also Saga, and I forgot to 
<laughs> mention this, so that's why I tell so everybody. So if Frank now, recommends a comic, just don't read it in public. I, pretty much. Maybe, okay. yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Good I read some pretty. Uh, okay. You did have that awesome Batman one last year. I, <laughs> I probably did. shouldn't have been read in public either. No, <laughs> yeah, did. One page for sure. What was I calling that? The bat, uh, the battering. Battering. The battering. <laughs> there we go. Welcome back. Wow. Um, anyway, welcome back. This is what I got. Uh, I got book number nine finally. Duh, I'm boys. excited to read this. Like, I'm finally like four books deep, and only the first episode. If we want to get into it, like only half the first episode because kids walked in when I was watching. And I was like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> so. And last time I was at Cosmic, um, like Frank said, they are they just have reissued the the new versions of that. And as I was perusing around, there was at least three guys that came in specifically looking for the boys, so they pointed them to the right direction, so they were able to get you know, um, I'm not I don't know I didn't stock them, so hey. I don't know how many <laughs> volumes they bought, but they were able to at least get you know volume what, one of the boys. What there. were they so wearing? I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. I just I just heard. <laughs> uh, will they at some point release a like a hardcover book with all nine volumes? Probably. Uh, I'm sure it's like on the way. It's got to be on yeah. the way because yeah. they just started doing that with Saga. Okay. Saga actually just came out with the compendium oh. for first nine. I know. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely just don't, read that in public. Just don't read it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. This is something else I'm introducing here. Like the Saga compendium is just coming out, so. It's a good time to catch up if you guys want to read Saga. It's all nine, and they're not coming out for another, like another two years, so we still got a year and a half. Oh, wow. oh you mean left. the continuation? Yes, yeah, okay. because they're just taking a big reprieve. And but this is awesome that it actually came out in like a giant compendium, and you guys can cool. read it and catch up. And I, it's totally worth it. It's so I good. I really like Saga. So good. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I would read The Boys for sure. I just wanted to say my thing that I want to bring to the table is The Boys, the TV show. Mm. It did start this summer. Um, it, yeah, it's not f technically a fall show. It's not a fall show. Uh, it's available on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend it, but for adults or mature audiences. Yeah, because you have it's, to put a disclaimer. No there, there, holds barred. There is it's the a little harsh. most fun I've had watching a television show <laughs> possibly ever po because it's just fun and i can tell you the book is just even worse really the book oh is my just, gosh it's there's no holes barred and, and that's why you keep telling everybody i love every character mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the actors i don't know where these people came from aside from like elizabeth shue and carl urban but the rest of the cast i don't know who they are but they are phenomenal um, I can't say enough about the show. I want more and more and more. Can I leave a little Easter egg about the show? Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, this, this book, one of the, little Huey is, um, oh. he's actually the main character, but he's based off of Simon Pegg. <gasps> yes, I did know that. Yes, I, I heard that. this. He is based, yes. well, I mean, it says it right in the beginning when you start reading this mm -hmm. book. There's a disclaimer that talks about how this came about and... He is the dad of he Little is, Huey yeah. in, in the I show. I think that's which why they is, had him in the show, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's a little Easter egg I was mm. speaking of. It's yeah. so yeah. cool that, that I was just so excited to see him, even though I only He's saw great. half an episode because some kids walked in. I was like... <laughs> yeah. I wanted more of him. <laughs> uh, I wished he was in more episodes. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. it's hard not to see him in there when you're reading this. Like, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's Simon Pegg all the way in the comics. So really? seeing Honestly. It, seeing a different Little Huey is... Amazing still. One of the best series I've ever watched. <laughs> so, yeah. it you was know. Really good. Yeah. Good. Totally hooked. So, <laughs> speaking of series. Yes. What else are we excited about? We so got a lot of here. Here. I'm like raring to go. He's like busting. <laughs> well, I can tell you that Friday, um, Titans season two okay. premieres yes. on um, DC Universe. And Ooh, I can't wait. Okay. It was phenomenal. The first season was really good, and there's a lot of introduction of new friends in season two. Is that so. a kind of a little goofy? Like, no, it's not. It's, it's a lot it's on the not, dark side. It is. I'm okay. I'm worried for DC Universe because I tried the other shows and I wasn't that. I don't know if you watched them. Uh, I caught up on Flash and Green Arrow okay. over the summer, what just about, up to the crossover. But part. what about? Um, Swamp Thing and Doom Patrol. I heard that Swamp Thing was pretty good. Okay, um, I couldn't. I couldn't manage it. I, I haven't watched it yet, mm. um, and I'm a big Swamp Thing fan. But okay. I heard that it 
it was a slow burn. Like it took a while to get to well, I mean, the Swamp Thing. So mm-hmm. the comic's slow too, though, Rick. It is. Like, it's I mean, very slow. It's it's hard to get through. It's a really good read, but it's like it does not read at least. The run that Frank and I are talking about is the Alan Moore run. Yes. Which yes, is probably yes, one yes, of the yes. best runs in the Swamp I mean, I'll thing. read anything he pretty much does. Alan Moore, who was yes. Watchmen? Yes. 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 Is so, that Swamp Thing? Yeah. Yes. And it reads so, like a novel. It does not read like a comic no. book. No. So, so it's it's very yeah. intellectual, very yes. deep. Yeah. It's very slow and it's hard to get through, but at the same time, it's like worth... It's worth it. It's <laughs> worth every no single idea. word that they... Mm-hmm. Anything that guy writes is was... I don't know. Anything yeah, that I've well, read so far has just been incredible. Yeah. So That's really good. Yeah. I could see why the show might okay. try and do justice to that comic. I just, and be that Titans, slow. I think, is their sh- forerunner of best shows. It seems okay. like they're putting a lot of their... For- and I just bought Titan Season 1 Ugh. on Blu-ray, so I cannot it wait. I'm waiting until we finish Stranger Things, okay. and, then, and then I'm doing Titans. So. I mean, they're bringing <laughs> Batman... He's, yeah, and I it's, saw um, that. What's his name? Who oh was on God. Game of Thrones? Yes. Uh-huh. Who was Jorah on Game of Thrones? He's playing Bruce Wayne. Yeah, yes. so that should be time. awesome. Crypto's gonna be on, so mm-hmm. Storm is excited to watch. <laughs> and then who are the new Who are the new Titans that are gonna be on? Um, because I see a lot with Hawk and Dove. Yep. But they, they were, on were season kind of one, on season yeah. one. Um, oh man, I'm drawing a blank now. I can't remember either now, but I saw a couple of new Titans and I was like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it, I just, so. the show is just phenomenal. So yeah. I'm very, that's Friday. That's what I'll be doing. Is it? Jason Todd is supposed to be coming in, isn't he? As the Red Hood. Yep. I think that's so. what I thought. Yeah, see, that's going to be mm-hmm. killer. That's, that's Rick's jam. That's okay. what, yeah, that's, that's right all, there. That, that's, all right. that's got Rick all over it. <laughs> <laughs> are these, uh, because it's DC Network and whatnot, are they, are they toned down from something you'd see on Amazon or Netflix or something like? Oh. I mean, are they Netflix name? Uh, Robin really drops the f bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he drops the f bomb. I'm just wondering if they're more geared to you know younger audiences. I don't think no. a no, young not, child no, should okay. watch Titans. Titans. No, okay. Or Swamp Thing or Doom Patrol. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, that was just. So I don't even think or the boys or the boys. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely not the boys. <laughs> Nobody should watch the boys. I just think of like uh, you know uh, the DC. Subscription thing is being maybe like a Disney subscription they thing. They do have a lot of cartoons yeah. on it too. I don't mm-hmm. think they have that many like new live action. But even DC's animated movies, the ones that they do straight to DVD or Blu-ray, they're not geared towards kids. A lot of them have a an R rated PG, very PG true. Oh, that's PG-13. Very true. Oh, okay. Like Flashpoint. Yeah, others. not necessarily R, but more PG-13, but on the edge of. Yeah. Okay. Is that yeah. Harley Quinn animated series on DC? I. I think it's going to be yeah, honestly. I, I think I think that's be. where it's going to come out, but okay. that's also not geared towards children from no. the, the previews that I saw. Right. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, it's like adult I'm excited. Swim. Don't get me wrong. I was just right. It's more kids watching Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy too. Also true. <laughs> so that's what you're. Is that at the top of your list? I what well that one and then Watchmen. I'm excited. I'm confused by Watchmen. They just released today that it's October 20th. I won't watch it. Yes. I I wasn't going to say a preview. I know know, you don't do previews. October 20th. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you do. No, no, no. I know you don't do previews. I (laughs) think I understand why we were confused by the promo. Yeah. It takes place in another version of 2019. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of like a continuation new adaptation. Robert Redford is the president of the United States. Yeah, and I'm in. I'm in. You know. I wonder if they're going to tie in with because right now they're doing the 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 crossover with Watchmen in DC the clockwork. Oh, I'm yep. Drawing oh. a blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the what is it? Doomsday clock. Doomsday clock. Oh. Yes. So they're bringing the Watchmen into the DC universe. Oh, so I wonder if they're going to have any elements with that into it. Or uh, not. That would be. I'm pumped about it. Either intriguing. Way. It looks mm-hmm. phenomenal. So that's first... on HBO. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. Oh wow. Okay. And yeah. uh, Damon Lindelof is behind it. Too. Yep. Oh, Lost. Mm-hmm. So, so, I don't know. Just seeing the first preview of it, and I just you like the preview? I turned away from it because I saw what it was. <laughs> I didn't know what I was watching at first, and I saw it. No! I was like, I can't wait. It's on HBO. Like it's gonna be even better. Like I haven't watched one show on HBO that's disappointed me yet. That's true. They, they so they they're it's pretty. It's the reason I still have HBO. Yeah, in all exactly, honesty, it's, exactly. It's the reason I didn't drop it out. Exactly. They just, they're, they're just. You're welcome, HBO. They dig their yeah. They dig their <laughs> they dig their claws into it. They're not afraid to actually stick to the fandom of it. So. Well, there's another series coming to HBO. Have you guys heard about uh, his Dark Materials? 
<laughs> no. It is based on Philip uh, Pullman? Pullman's books. The Golden, the Golden Compass one? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So oh, yeah, James McAvoy yeah, is in it. Um, it looks really good. And what they did, from what I understand, is the book or uh, the movie that came out a few years ago, it was basically based on the first book, but they cut so much. So what the series is wanting to do is go through all three books and add all the other details right. in. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty cool looking. I think that's a well. great replacement for mm-hmm. Game of Thrones. That's I think. the thing. It's like really? HBO is looking for some yeah, fantasy I mean, stuff. It's got some content to it from, what I, from my understanding. Yeah. I haven't read the books. but It I, looked interesting in the, you know, the preview. Right, but it's very I mean, steampunky, Rickle like. Yeah, 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 it is. It is. But again, it's each. Well, it's got though. the talking bear too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it does have talking cool. polar bears with, mm-hmm. yeah. with so some badass cool. armor? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't, you know, I didn't enjoy the movie. I never read the books. I wasn't that crazy about the movie, so I don't know. I'm not super yeah, excited I have, about it. But I have the movie. Like I watched it too. There was a lot of controversy around that for some reason because I don't. Who know was what. in it? Anti- Nicole Kidman. It was the one with Nicole Kidman. I, see, I don't uh, see that. But whatever. I could. I could see. I. I actually read into that. Oh, okay. And I didn't. Was, I didn't see that aspect I of it in the movie, but. Even even after seeing the, even after what I read, I just still f- feel like people were reading way too into it. Probably they said the same thing about. We didn't hear you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're having a side it was conversation. Like, <laughs> no side conversations, sorry, guys. gentlemen. <laughs> it was not sidebarred. It was. I, felt, I I thought everyone was listening. It was like it was very controversial, like Rick was saying. But it was very. They said it was anti-Christian, hmm. and I just I I read those I read why they thought it was anti-Christian and I didn't see... I feel like people were just like being too sensitive. Sometimes yeah. you can see what you want to see. Yeah. Exactly. You're right. Well, it's an totally escape. Right. They said You're the totally same right. thing about Harry Potter, of too. Of course. That was yeah. the whole reason like, I started yeah. reading Harry Potter. Yeah. I just heard, uh, read a news story that at a school, uh, I think a Catholic school in England, the principal banned the Harry Potter books what? because he said they contained actual spells mm-hmm. that when you read out loud... Oh. Totally. When the kids read them out yes. loud, they could be opening themselves up to, you know, possessions or bringing, you know, wow. strange Again, beings into the world. you know, <laughs> your energy that you today. bring to wow. something has so much to do with it, you know. I love horror movies. I love slasher films, as we're going to talk about another series coming out in just like two weeks. But it's like, I'm not going to go around and slash people, and I don't feel like, you know, I'm I'm not desensitized. I hide. I scream. I don't know, Patty. Sometimes I question you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't piss me off. Nicest, per- <laughs> <laughs> Nicest person I've ever met. Me is wrong. <laughs> Next to my mother. This is taking a dark turn. <laughs> I know. Man, that went really sad. What are some, some, some lighthearted things coming out? Well, you know, uh, the snow sea- piercer. <laughs> oh, yeah. The no, s- that's not lighthearted. What? Well, no, that's a little heavy, too. The CW has like every kind of superhero show possible yeah. on. Yeah. And we got- don't watch really, so. I do. Are they any good? She does. I uh, watch most of them. They've got she like 10 different shows on that are all are I'm not going to lie, their crossovers are ridiculously phenomenal, yeah, I think. the crossovers are the best. Yeah, they're they're, they're really, really good. good. Um, I actually have that on my list, that all the shows starting, but their big crossover this year is going to be the Crisis on Infinite Earth. Yes, I wrote that one Which, down. Which, I mean, have you seen everyone that they're trying to get? I mean, yeah. they're talking that... about from all the different TV shows, the different people who've played. We're talking like Tom Welling's. Yes, yeah. from like small, Smallville. Um, and yeah, they're yeah. going to have all Wait, of them You're talking about together. the voice of Batman too, right? Yes, yes. he's going he's he's really to be, be on there. it. And Mark Hamill, they're trying yes. to. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, this, is, this it, right? would be like, it's like a five-night event. Oh my mm-hmm. God, I'll watch. I'm, wow. in. I'm in for that. Yeah, so. And usually because of the way that they do these big crossovers it's a very known comic Mm storyline so everyone it's easy to pick up if you don't normally watch the shows but last year on the crossover they did introduce batwoman yes and i'm excited about that because it's ruby Ruby rose Rose, and i like her i think she's gonna bring a little a lot of badass well I, I, i like that character um and in the comics you know she's actually related to bruce so she's his cousin so there's a lot but she also has military training, so she's not afraid to pull the trigger. Where Batman is completely anti-gun, so. she literally has triggers. So it's like, 
<laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a good dynamic, I think, for that what, for that show. Uh, what network is that show? CW. On? CW. CW. Oh, so yeah. she'll be in, on a, in mm-hmm. Infinite on Crisis Earth too. Mm-hmm. Batwoman. They also have Supergirl, which yeah, is coming sure. back for the fifth season. Can you? Yeah. I can't kind of can't it's, believe it's, it's the still actress around. that plays her that I just. She kind of annoyed and me. See, Melissa I used, Benoit? She used to be on Glee. Yeah. And she yeah. annoyed me on Glee. That was so when I left Glee. When that was she exactly came on. when I left Glee, and so it's hard to. I liked her supporting cast, though. Like I like when Martian yes. Manhunter was on there and things yep. like that. I really liked the supporting cast, but I'd fallen away from that show, too. I tried Black Lightning. Crossover. I was going to ask, because that's one that I didn't It wasn't hear bad. About. I just. It wasn't one I wanted to. It's coming keep back up. for a third season. It yeah. is. So somebody's watching it. The Flash, love it. Yeah, I like the Flash. That's probably one. Of and my is favorites. this its final season? No, it's no. Arrow's. Oh, final it's Arrow's, Arrow's final, final season. season. Yeah. But the Flash know. dropped a main character, and so did Arrow. Yeah, I think like, so. Like uh, Felicity's not coming back on Arrow, and I think that um, I can't even think of his real name, but Vibe oh, from, is not coming back. Oh, because really? I know Kid Flash isn't coming back. He he left too. I yep. think. Yeah. So. So. We'll see how but I'm excited for those shows. Those are, I love all of them. And then you also watch Riverdale, right? I that's do on watch the Riverdale. CW. Yep, I love. I, and that's coming back. Yes, and I also watched the Sabrina that's on Netflix. And at one point they were talking about maybe a crossover. Yes, there's, which, I think they're still supposed which to would do be a awesome. crossover for that. So there's yeah. going to be also a Nancy Drew series I saw coming that. to the on CW. the CW. Because <laughs> I saw that and I thought, well, now I'm kind of curious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Normally the CW shows don't really grab me, but I like Nancy Drew, so I was. <laughs> mildly intrigued mm-hmm. about um, I gotta say something about a show that came on this summer that next summer will be on again which that one? everyone gave up on I think but me which is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, the Marvel yeah. show I'm I know it fell away from really connecting with the movies but I kept kept up with watching and the season was really good and at the end they went back in time so they're kind of gonna go what? and meet up with Agent Carter spoiler so, alert no, oh, <laughs> spoiler alert. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sorry. Okay. It's it okay. was on. It I was on up. the show. It was yeah. not a preview. Yeah, yeah. So, but that. Could but it's be on Netflix cool. now too, right? Yeah, it's on yeah, Netflix it's on now. Netflix. And it, it comes can't... out. It comes out in the summer. So I plan on catching up on it. I liked it. They announced at Comic Con that they didn't expect to have another season, and they were surprised that they one more. So I they think they're so kind of they like said, tying everything up. Yeah, they said we'll do one more, but then that's. I did like when it tied it. in with the movies. It kind of was, mm-hmm. you know, watch, you know, Thor: The Dark World was released, and then right. the next yeah, week yeah, yeah. on that the was, show, that was really it dope. was kind of a connector, and you know, they never really talk about the Thanos snap on Shield at all. So no, hmm. they're um, saving all that now for the Disney Plus content. Mm-hmm. That's so, so true. Yeah, so that's all. That's it's all. Also true. Part of Phase. Four, so have any of you heard about this one raising dion it's a netflix series starring and produced by michael b jordan nobody's no. heard about it it's coming no. out october 4th it's about a b. parent he was, of uh, a superhero mm-hmm. so it's like a little boy and i think dad gets killed and mom's raising the little boy and he's a superhero so, so it's kind of like from that <laughs> aspect <laughs> so he's producing a show that's actually about his character mm-hmm. in Black Panther. pretty much is, yeah. that, is that the story of Killmonger, that's Killmonger yeah, yeah. <laughs> his, his dad gets killed and I wonder if that's he it then to be, is it a, be cool. is it a no, Killmonger it origin it did, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> not his name's Dion raising I Dion think, I don't oh. think it needs much more uh-huh. That's funny. probing, so to speak. <laughs> but I was just curious if anybody had heard no. about that. I just read about no, it, but I that's haven't. I, Netflix anything. is releasing so much stuff. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That it's hard to keep up with. Yeah. So, The Witcher with Henry Cavill. Cavill? I, Cavill. Yeah. I'm gonna watch that. Oh my that gosh! Good. That looks good. It's got Superman and it's got like video games. Like, and it's got that genre. Yeah, white blonde hair. hair. <laughs> yeah. so, that's not what I was saying about. <laughs> but what, it's been getting a lot of good reviews though. What is it? But I mean, it's like, a, it's based on a, a fantasy. Game. It's a video game. Yeah, it's like a fantasy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And a book series. Based. He's a monster hunter. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Like so a Van very. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So again, another fantasy show. You know, I mean, Which, nothing can fill completely the Game of Thrones void. But all of these things. Okay. Can what work about towards. Carnival Row? Has yes. anyone started watching that? No, no it's, it's out. It just it's came out. out last Friday. Yeah. A few days ago. It's out Friday. Uh, it looks so really good. We're yes. gonna try it tomorrow night. Is that a Netflix or two? No, it it's Amazon. Amazon. Prime. Amazon. Okay. Amazon, and it looks pretty we'll good. <laughs> I have Amazon Prime. Yeah. Okay. I just yeah, that catching up on all the Netflix stuff. Yeah, first. we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot tomorrow. Yeah, I'm really pumped to actually watch it. Okay. I've been. 
I've been keeping track of that one. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. We started like and went through the credits the other night. And then I didn't feel like focusing and paying attention. I actually so. wrote, <laughs> they actually had something on Nerdist that got me actually really psyched to read it. When like, it started the credits and there was a little bit of reading, I was like, oh, I'm not ready no, to no, pay no, attention no. that much <laughs> yeah, yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> my brain is shut off. It's a three-day That's weekend. So. <laughs> Speaking of something else. To uh, shake off, um, did anyone start watching Dark Crystal? Yeah, yes. yeah that's what I was going to say. Like, <laughs> We've seen the, one. Uh, the beginning of that. Like, I watched the like, first episode and I didn't know. I don't. I yeah. couldn't even tell you what I watched. There's a ton of narration. Too, and Well, mm-hmm. I was too busy watching the mechanics of it. Uh, and, yeah. yeah. and the artistry of it is just yeah. unbelievable. It's mind-blowing. It, is, it, is. It, it really, it truly is. And I was literally just watching it before I came here. No. And I was just blown away. I couldn't even tell you what that story was about. Yeah, we yeah, were talking about that. Because I mentioned something to Rob about something that was a discrepancy to the original story, but I, I'm assuming that they're going to explain it later on. So oh, I don't know And I was to... like, I don't uh-huh. know if you want to talk about it or not, because spoiler alert if you haven't watched <laughs> Well, let's do a spoiler yet. alert, and let's just take a moment right. and see what it is. If you're going to watch uh, Dark, Dark Crystal, Crystal Age of Resistance. Skip right? ahead there if you haven't seen this episode one yet. Spoiler alert. But right in the beginning monologue, they talk about how the Skeksis um, came to the planet from mm-hmm. outer space. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure, I guess I could go, I mean, I could be wrong. I have to go back and check. But I thought the original storyline was that they were merged with the mystics That's what... until the crystal cracked and then they the two separate races appeared. Absolutely what I, I would have I thought as well. So, yes. And then that's why um, the Skeksis introduced Olgra to mm-hmm. the cosmos. And that's when she went to go right. You know, check out the cosmos or whatever. So I'm assuming because I skipped ahead to see the different episodes, the mystics do appear. So I'm assuming that they're going to explain that and all of the uh, material that's been advertised and that they talk about how, you know, eventually everyone realizes everything the Skuxies has said has been a lie. So I'm assuming they're going to tie all that together. But I would think so, but you're absolutely right because we just rewatched the movie, the original yeah. Dark Crystal just a few days ago. Mm-hmm. And it's fresh but in our mind. I don't remember them saying how the Skeksis came to they be there. They didn't in the original movie. They, Maybe they, they were did just in the opening. They were just there. Yeah. But they just he's he's right though. He says that they do like when it cracked. That's when they the two show races. that. The two, yeah, they talk about it. They in, talk about it's it. another monologue part in the original movie. Okay. They yes. talk about the two races appearing, wow. mm-hmm. and then yeah, so mm-hmm. yeah, because it was uh, well, we talked about that because when one of them would would die right. the other one would die exactly and, you know, yeah they, they were obviously they were connected. linked yeah. so they were linked I, I love seeing what the emperor the emperor <laughs> what he's <laughs> like <laughs> you know when he's not dying on the bed he's like yeah. all full of vim and vigor yeah. and he's ready to go <laughs> exactly well that's what we said when we were first watching it last night i was like well these are the emperor. same the yeah. same characters just younger and he was like no i think they're different characters and then when we heard their names and yeah. whatnot yeah. Like, well, these it's these the same. are yeah. the same prequel. ones chamberlain yeah. and the scientist and it's a prequel yeah. it's really yeah. cool and the scientist did anyone else pick out the voice immediately? Well, no, I didn't pick it up. Is that out, Mark Hamill? Yes, yes, immediately. Yeah. I just yeah. the second I heard yeah. it, I was like, uh, right. "Holy shit, this is Mark Hamill!" Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> well, and it's like a Game of Thrones reunion because there are like three or four, maybe yes. five different actors from yes. Game of Thrones that are voicing you can, different you know, voice. characters. You can, mm-hmm. you can pick it out really quick. Oh, it's like, just why phenomenal. Does that sound so familiar? Who yeah. is yeah. that? And I just became obsessed with that again. I, I became obsessed with the mechanics of all of it. Oh, because I was just like, you have was, to watch it again. Yeah, because, I, I mean, have we're to. have to go back and watch to. it because yeah, I was enwrapped with the visuals of it. I don't even know the storyline because I was yeah. just so obsessed with like, I was like, how are they doing all this? Like, <laughs> you mentioned before with Game of Thrones, I think the same thing is with this. They're almost like mini movies. I mean, mm-hmm. it's an hour long episode. Yep, mm-hmm. the cinematography, the 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 sets. It's mm-hmm. just it's crazy. Yes, it's it's crazy uh, good. spectacle. Yeah, I will is. say there are, are a lot more gelflings to keep track of. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I, I'm kind <laughs> of right now, two. I've only watched one episode, <laughs> but I'm trying to remember and discriminate which was which out uh-huh. of at least the female ones because there are like three or four, and I'm like, right. oh, shoot. But I'm sure after another episode or and two, they all I'll, have wings, so you really, can't... Oh. Well, they all look very similar because they're gelflings, yeah. so... You're saying they all look alike? A little bit. Gelflings. How dare you. But it's uh, a beautiful show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a great show. I mean, and no it's disrespect. very, like, heavy with... I mean, not Story. heavy in a, in a heavy way, but I mean, like, with symbolism mm-hmm. and, and uh, 
metaphor. It's and deep. Right. There's a lot to like, read into. It's a yeah, deep, yeah, yeah. It's deep very concept. telling. Uh, you, you know, about I was surprised um, how life. Maddie liked it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you know, I mean, she's ten. So well, it's so, not but, like it's not but like she really got into it. So yeah, it's very. It is slower. It's slower, just like mm-hmm. Dark Crystal was, like yeah. like the original mm-hmm. movie was, mm-hmm. and. You're right. Like it's like you have to pay attention to what they're saying. Right. Like I couldn't. I like couldn't, Game of Thrones, point, another one. At that point, I was just like blown away how they went back to some of the old stuff too. Right. So, no, I was just gonna say we have to put the subs on so we. <laughs> yeah, that's a great so idea. That's yeah. a great yeah. idea. I'm gonna do that next time. It forces you to pay attention. That's a little that's more. fantastic. That's well, a great it helps idea. you then associate the name with the character. I mean, it's so just a cheat until you yeah. get to know yeah. everybody. So I mean, it helps me. I think you guys will like in episode two because. You finally hear the Chamberlain say, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. Oh, that's sounds familiar. <laughs> and we can probably look forward to a whole bunch of figures from NECA, of the Gelflings. That would be Funko cool. Oh, I'm hoping some pops. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Yeah, because they did the original. They do have pops. They oh, do. I just saw them. I just saw them. I just saw them at uh, but I mean, Eddie's World. I, oh, I just drove yeah. out from California, and I was like... Already? The show's just wow. out. like Because they so. just came out with the Umbrella Academy ones. Yeah, they just had... Uh, it was The Hunter and who else was it? I don't know. There was two other ones. But one was The Hunter and one was The Gelfling. So you ordering them right now, Patty? I'm pops. looking right now. <laughs> they're, they're pops. They're, I'm talking about like, uh, like you know, six, uh, seven. It might be Super figures. 7 because they oh, did the reaction wow. figures. Oh, They have fist okay. yeah. Super <laughs> 7 did the reaction figures. And I think they're the new one. Yeah. You don't even know what you don't know until you know. I know. Jen, <laughs> too much. I didn't know they did the Otter Pop guys. And so oh, like yeah. The what? Otter Pop. They're already out. Yeah. They've got the uh, Age of Resistance ones are coming soon, but from the first one, yeah, they're they're out. Yes. So. <laughs> I remember. Um, we did not talk about no. Cloak and Dagger or Runaways. Oh, uh, yes. Ooh, I, yeah. I do enjoy both those, and I think they're geared a little more towards kids ish because it's on the ABC Family Show channel or whatever it's called now but I um, thought, did you see uh, they're crossing runaways. over they? yeah season yeah. three of no is this no this is this season be three season or season three of Runaways yeah. coming out so again spoiler alert <laughs> the last episode of Cloak and Dagger they go out to California which is setting up for them to cross over awesome. with the Runaways we so, saw yeah. a promo the other night of them and they were all being interviewed sitting on the stairs and they had the kids from Cloak and Dagger say we're going to join yeah. them oh, that's that was that I really both, liked Runaways I, yeah I think that it got better season one was a little yeah, like a little it seemed shaky. a little low budget right. the dinosaur mm-hmm. was a little Oh, I, I didn't mind. No, I liked it, but the glowing and all yeah. that it was a little low budget. The, um, I remember you were on here like, talking about that. But they got better. Similar, a little similar. bit, yes. Like, yes, yeah. I think that's exactly what she looked yeah. like. Robert's holding up one of the uh, yeah. dinosaur books. 1960s, 1960s dinosaur books. Pretty much books. looks uh-huh. exactly like the dinosaur from the show. So I was disappointed in Cloak and Dagger's second season. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that as much as the first season. Yeah. The first season I really like, and now it's like, okay, we have like we need to get into Cloak and Dagger More, and like yeah, kicking some booty. I kept like. watching it, but I was not nearly as engaged. I didn't like it. the villain. I thought the villain villain was boring. Yeah. So, but still um, gonna watch the show though. Yeah. So there are a couple of horror series coming out too and since horror is one of my favorite genres uh, shocker the the big one american (laughs) horror story 1984 that starts in about two weeks uh on fx anybody know about it i'm excited and terrified at the same time (laughs) i it's i don't do scary but i've watched every season of horror story but i can tell you this season i'll definitely only watch in the daytime wow so you've watched them all you don't like horror not at all but she's I don't watch those slasher movies. But she'll watch and she'll ask me. She'll be like, I haven't watched this, you know, this week yet. Is it okay? What should I do? You know, and, and then she But it was it. more like I now have, you know, all the doors are locked, the alarm is on, and I watch it at like, I'm, on a Saturday at noon. I'm only asking yeah. because <laughs> Stan hates watching horror stuff. Okay. And so it's hard I to get her to watch anything. I didn't anything. find that American was Horror that... Story was actually like the jump out and scare you kind of stuff, but I do this think this season, this, one will be. this season will be. Because so this I one is set at a camp right. in the summer, right. and it's just all that whole Although genre of slasher. they're missing some of my favorite people they from are, the show, so I'm... They are, but you know what? It's okay. But it's, it's a good show. new people I, that they've worked in in the last couple seasons, they'll have their, I you know, I think the shot. good thing is, is that it's like very intellectual, maybe? Mm-hmm. Because they're all connected, and 
what the characters are. So excited. Yeah. It's so, like one of my so. favorite genres. As if you remember, if you watched us last October when we talked about our different genres of horror films. Mm-hmm. I love slasher stuff, so I can't wait. That's your jam. Very excited. And then there's another one that was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. Creep Show is coming to Shudder, which is an only streaming channel. Who's heard um, of Shudder? Fortunately. But Creep Show's coming, and <laughs> it's a, uh, a whole new Crickets, take. Crickets. Greg Nicotero <laughs> is producing, uh, yeah, oh, and they're doing okay. Dead guy, yeah? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. six individual tales. It's not like a it's reimagining bigger. of the first yeah. movie. It's that it went back to like that Creep Show magazine vibe and these individual installments. And we saw a trailer, and it just looks so great. But now we have to figure out how to get Shutter. Yeah. Is it another, an app you buy? It's, it's another subscription. It's another subscription, oh, four seventy five a month. Another I looked channel. it up. Wow. That's they have boring. original programming and then they have classics and all the standards. <laughs> oh. It's horror, thriller, uh, suspense. Interesting. Pretty much all that. Hence the name Shutter, like yeah. Shuttering Shutter. in here. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not camera shutter. No. 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 Or but every network house. has to come out with their big flagship show that everybody. Oh, is this going to be their show? I think I so. I think yeah. so. it's their big one. I'm they have they a lot have of original other. programming, but this is the one that I think they're hyping the most. Mm-hmm. It's you know, Nicotero's got the Walking mm-hmm. Dead name, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and they'll all have their show that you can't like. We couldn't unsubscribe from HBO because we had to watch Game of Thrones. Now we're gonna have Watchmen. Uh, well, I don't know. Are we gonna watch Watchmen? Yes, yeah. definitely. Who's, who's gonna watch the Watchmen? Have you read that? That's 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 that's, 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 that's like right up your alley. I know that's why I said this, this book is like right up your alley. Oh, it's good. Yeah. It is so up your alley. Like, I don't know. Oh. I, did, I would. I didn't get into the movie the first. Oh yeah, you know. the movie. I no, loved the, it. The movie was I so loved good. It. Thank you. I thought it was it, brilliant. It, it is like frame for frame at points. It the almost, graphic novel. Like the only the ending was the only different part, and it was still even better than. It was beautiful. I really liked. I have to the watch movie. it. Again. I just gave Mike the DVD and the graphic novel to read, and I was like, "You have to do some work before." The just the idea of like having one superpower change the progress of history. That Nixon is still the president because mm-hmm. of that. It was, the yeah. idea of it is just, it's just amazing. The idea of it was just incredible. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Right. You know. Yeah, we took a left. Moving on. <laughs> Certified by Frank. Uh, <laughs> another horror one. Can I throw another one out? Castle Rock. Since oh, we're talking Stephen another, King with the uh, creep show. Continue. Castle Rock on Hulu. They're going to have a second season. Oh, this time, a whole different. new yeah. cast. <laughs> Does the name Annie Wilcox mean anything to anyone? No, it's Or Wilkes. Annie Wilkes. I'm sorry. Annie Wilkes. Misery. Mm. Misery. She was the... Kathy Bates. The villain in Misery. So this is going to be like a take on her. I really enjoyed Castle Rock. There were like Easter eggs all throughout for Stephen King fans. If you've read any of his books, there were just little nuggets of things. It was all kind of woven throughout the first season. But this is a, a whole new cast. So that was another one to be excited about. And then, of course... I don't know if I'm excited about it, but, you know, The Walking Dead is coming back for season 10. I have heard it's Denise's last season. I don't know what that'll mean. should be everybody's mean. last season, shouldn't it? Uh, Aren't they doing movies? They're yes. going yeah. to. Yeah. Because they... Rick's there's scheduled a new for series. three movies. Wait, Andrew no. Lincoln's scheduled for three movies. There's a new series, a Walking Dead series coming out. The- we saw. There's oh, it's an series? animated. It's an animated I thing. I think so. Yes, because it? it was about those in-between uh, remember how at the beginning or in between mm. the show they would show sometimes like two yes. or three minutes of another story? Oh, like they'd have this the, the is a compilation like of all the that. The plane. Yes. Are you sure? I yes. Oh, the, red, the, the red machete. It's yeah. it's a take on all of those coming together, I believe. So oh, you're not excited for this? I'm show really not. It, it comes out. You October watch it out 6th. of like you have to. I don't even know if I feel uh, like I have to. I mean, I'm curious about Alpha and Beta, but mm-hmm. I don't know that there are that many <laughs> characters that I'm that invested with. And then looking at the reactions from these fellas <laughs> here, <laughs> I'm I'm guessing it's time to just take a powder from it. And the, the last season really turned well. me off. It's I funny didn't like the showrunner. I didn't like any. Wasn't that the show where you didn't set it at the right time or something, and you missed part of it? Or no? I was think that, so. That was because like I remember talking. You were like, "Nope, can't talk yet because yeah. something had happened when you recorded." Yeah. It's funny because mm. I think they've taken a powder from it permanently, comic book wise. So, mm. 
Last Walking Dead. Yeah, The Last Walking Dead's already come out, so it's already finished as a so, series, so. Yeah, I've just, it makes me sad, but I'm so, there are so many other things to watch as we've just been talking about this last 30, 40 That's minutes. It's more like, exciting. <laughs> I'm more excited to watch all of these other things, so it's like. I think... And once Disney I'm Plus okay. comes on, I hate Oof. to say it, but I think right. that's going to be... We haven't even yeah. touched on that's that. Gonna yeah. be, so, gonna say we that's where we're going to turn the rain over one. now. I know. They got me. <laughs> right Robert, there. you want to take the lead here? I cannot wait until... I mean, you're the Boba Fett fan. Well, I think you're more excited than I am. I am. I'm more excited for that than, <laughs> than the movie. I mean, I want to see the movie when it comes out, but oh my gosh, The Mandalorian just looks so stinking Can't, good. Yeah. Can't. It just looks amazing. Well, there's that... Kind of wild western Oops. appeal, exactly. You know, the whole and that's why I think Star Frank's Wars. gonna lose his marbles <laughs> because oh, it's just it just looks so good. <laughs> I'm already dying to watch it. Like I just oh, yeah. saw you know, like, like two months. Well, I mean, right? no, one, he's talking first about of all the director. Uh, the first of all, the director. Yeah. Alone, I'm just John Favreau. I'm like, okay, I'm in. Right. Yeah. Then they start showing some cutscenes. I'm like. Please stop! Please yeah. stop! Like, I, I didn't know a particular this. actor was part of the cast. Yes. And when I saw yeah, him in that, there, I like, was I'm like, like, "No, stop yeah. telling me everything!" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like squirming to see this. Like, Disney's got three of my favorite franchises. They have Marvel, they have Star Wars, and, and they the have Muppets. the darn Muppets. Like, yes. <laughs> Like, yep. and they have all of my favorite things. Like, trifecta. I'm like, screwed. <laughs> like, I'm just like, take, just shut up and take my money. Oh. I'm squirming to see all the things, and I'm just like... I'm excited, too, for everything that they've been talking about with yeah. Falcon and oh, yeah. uh, the Winter Soldier. Yep. Because they're talking about bringing the U.S. agent in. Yes. Well, with That's Falcon and Winter be... Soldier, those guys Oof. on screen had really good chemistry. Yeah. Hating each other, yet both loving mm-hmm. yeah. Captain Yeah, it's, it's going to be... Yeah. I think it's going to we'll, be really good. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. WandaVision... <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited for that one too. I want to see where that one goes. I think I that's going to be interesting. Some of them is they're releasing though. Like I don't know, like the Red Hulk or no. She Hulk. She Hulk. Is she? Is that cartoon? Is I it don't animated? think so. It's, it's live action. action. I think it's live it, action. It didn't. I wasn't sure. Yeah, live action, and then Moon Knight. Yep, I saw that's that. That's going to be. And they're Bruce talking favorite. now. I don't, I'm excited for this, and I am not a fan of this particular actor, but this actor would be perfect because Moon Knight has a split personality. He has. Multiple personality disorder. So he has multiple personalities that he goes through. They're thinking, or they were talking about like Shia, Shia LaBeouf mm. playing mm-hmm. him. Yes. Don't know because he I could see would that. <laughs> fit this role to a Don't team. shy away from Shia. He <laughs> would fit this role to, and I'm not a fan of him, but hey, I think he would fit this role perfectly. We saw a trailer for a yeah. movie that he's I, oh yeah! Oh, the peanut butter the falcon. Peanut butter falcon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks really it good. Looks yeah. Yeah. it looks really good. I mean, yeah, good. so good. I think maybe, maybe Shia is he's gonna making you know, a comeback. Right, right. Hey. legit. So I don't know if that's just rumor or, mm-hmm. or where that's at right now because it's you know one of those internet things. But I think that would be. But She Hulk is gonna be live action. Yeah. yeah. Did you okay. see what Kevin Feige said they were gonna do with all this since all this is coming about? No. That they're trying for a full on, a full female. Oh. Avengers, Avengers movie, movie, yeah. Well, that would be pretty cool. Well, we knew that from your favorite scene in Endgame. Mm. Yeah, you wait <laughs> until you have a daughter, and then you see, and then you watch that scene again. I, I'm telling you. Hmm. What scene? <laughs> We're all in. Where everybody's dark. holding hands. They're, They're not Avengers holding Spider-Man. hands. It's when all the female Avengers come uh, together and start. They pull them butt. all off the battlefield to pull them in one spot to help Spider-Man. You Get didn't like that? No. Like oh, I, I loved, loved that. Well, first of all, okay. We're going, they were all badasses in their own yeah. way, okay? There's no reason to pull them all together like, oh, we don't need you over here. We need you right here to help Spider-Man. I'm telling you, though. All the females in one You spot. had a daughter, and if you looked at her at that moment and you saw the expression <sighs> on her face, probably like mine, when but... that was there, that, that would have been your favorite scene, too. That's what did it for me. It wasn't the thing on... It wasn't seeing it on screen, but watching my daughter mm-hmm. react to that and say, "I can see that, Rick." Oh my God, that was awesome, Daddy. That was cool. Aww. That I, I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. That's that's pretty badass. But for me, that scene <laughs> didn't work for me. So either way, I was happy that you're the Spider-Man. But... So uh, just coming back, is there anything else? <laughs> Sorry, because we went on it. Wow, that was, a, that was a quick left turn. <laughs> Thanks for putting me on spot again. <laughs> So you guys talked about all that. We mentioned the Mandalorian, and then you went off on this I know, on tangent, the other Marvel sorry, yeah, tangent with I all know. that crap. Is there are there any other good Star Wars shows coming out on the on the? Uh, yeah, how did we thing? miss this one? The Obi Wan TV well, but show. That's not this fall, right? No, but that's a, I mean, yeah, come on, Ewan McGregor. 
as yeah. Obi Wan. I'm in. What do you mean, eh? dude? I know that's what your you thing. Eh? That's your. You Michelle like knock him, him off his chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just push him over. Push him into the Mandalorian. Uh... It will be cool. What if Boba Fett appears on there? What if there's a crossover? Well. I don't well no I guess it really wouldn't be on there. I don't think it would it'd probably be more of a Darth Maul thing but he is no he's on Tatooine with him like he's one of Jabba's main men so I'm like yeah, he's gonna have to run I'm predicting into Fetster. He, like this is. We'll I'm saying this first. Like okay. he's gonna you be heard in, it here see first, Fett in he's gonna, Obi Wan. Fett is gonna be in Obi Wan. Right. Maybe that will point. be how they'll rebirth Boba Fett through you know a movie or something. In the mall, bringing him in through the back door of the TV show. Perhaps. Well, yeah, because they're, <laughs> they're already. I thought they were already talking to Ray Park about mm-hmm. about appearing on Obi Wan. I have no doubt yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I have mm-hmm. no doubt that Boba Fett and. And Darth Maul is going to be in there with Obi Wan. Uh, I mean, that's we'll first see. of all, Maul's like that's like the one guy that Maul hates the most. Like he cut him in half, made him half a man. Well, yeah, I'm, Maul <laughs> might be there, but I don't think Fett will be in there. He's on Tatooine. Joe Job is right there. He's not always on Tatooine. He's got a ship, man. He flies everywhere. The Slave One. He, he that's don't just, he don't just, he don't just hang Jabba's out on palace. Tatooine waiting for oh, he's something. Got tons of waiting for gigs to come in, man. He's out. <laughs> He's making money, he's man. Like he's bounty hunting. Oh, yeah, he's right. Making he's making it rain he, he throughout was, the galaxy. He was there in episode one, and he was there in episode Boba six. Fett? No, I was saying I was saying Jabba's there, so you think Boba Fett's not going to be there? Jabba can't move, man. He's like... He's stationary. But he's like, he's like hey, his main bounty I hunter. I saw him in one of the, pre, or one of the yeah, you know, reimaginings yeah. where he was... Yeah. He was also Yeah, in. whatever. <laughs> Slithering around. So anyway, <laughs> well, we'll see. We could make a little bet on it. I would love to bet on this little, and some little cash shaver on. form. Hey, so if cash you, or, or figure wise, let's do, let's right. do that. Trade in plastic. If <laughs> yes. each of you had to pick the one show this fall that you're the most excited about. Equally. <laughs> Frank, I got, I got one that we haven't talked about. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Rick and Morty. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> It's back, baby, season four. I, I've waited two years to see a new episode. I need oh. to watch this. <laughs> two years? I don't watch Two years. Show, it's been two years yeah, hiatus, but have, yeah. Cartoon Network has given them a 70, uh, 70 episode uh Is it a weekly allotment. show? Uh, it should be, yeah. Okay. That's I mean, a lot I mean, of So shows. 70 episode allotment, so we're not going to have to wait as long for episodes. And I know, look, I cannot stand most Rick and Morty fans. I have been to Rick and Morty events. Hey, and you're going to... You're going to piss off our audience here, I, It's really. okay. It's okay. I said most of them. Send hate mail to Frank. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Care for BTS? <laughs> Please bring it on. But, I mean, you see people come out of the woodworks. Like, it's bad. It's, like, bad. But I can't not help myself. I love the show. Huh. It's smart. And people think they're smart because they like the show. <laughs> but it's smart. It's funny. It's, like... Basically, Marty McFly and Doc Brown had no ratings on, and they took the gloves off. Like, there's no rules, and they just do whatever the hell they want to. That's what Rick and Morty is, and okay. it's an amazing. Concept. I love it. it. It is. It's a beautiful concept, and it actually, in one of the episodes, uh, there actually is a Morty in a bar that <laughs> is dressed like is dressed like Marty McFly. So there's a. Ah. And and Rick gets turned into a pickle at some point. Yeah. Okay, because that's really why I want to watch because then I can justify. He the turns pickle himself. Pop. He actually literally turns himself into a pickle okay. because he doesn't want to go to counseling. Okay. And Rick is the old guy. Yes, he's the doc. He is Doc Brown. He's literally Doc Brown. Yeah. Well, he it, plays the Doc. He, Brown. he plays yeah. the Doc Brown character. Like, yeah. there's no like. I'm telling you, like, you take the censors off. You take the rules of. Back to the Future away, like it is Doc Brown. One of our daughters side. loves it, so I, I just don't know anything about it. It's a great show. Like I love it. I can't help myself, and so that's what I'm excited about. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> I nope. didn't know what Robert's excited about. <laughs> what? No, I'm just saying. Moving on. I, I know nobody else is excited about that, but that's the show I'm excited about. What are you about. the most excited about this fall? Well, The Mandalorian. That's quite right. Obviously, that's right. Quite obviously. I can't decide between Watchmen and Titans. <laughs> It's good too. It's good. And I'll watch one this Friday and have to wait till October for the other, so. Uh, I'm with Team Rob on this one, The Mandalorian. Yeah. And I'm loving Dark Crystal too. Yeah, it is. That's, yeah. that's going to be a fun show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I think for me, it's American Horror Story. Wow, really? I'm super excited to see what they do. Yeah. That's yeah. your jam. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be terrified. Watching the, watching the little trailers, I get scared. Yeah. <laughs> 
Absolutely. <laughs> it looks like they're throwing in kind of every... Uh, Jason, Freddy. Oh, yeah. Every yeah. horror cliche it's from the 80s. 80s. A love letter to slasher films. Which has oh, been dumb. I mean, let's... You know. Wasn't Scream sort of a love letter to slasher films? Scream was a movie. This is a series. Well, all right. But, I, you know. You know, difference. Sleepaway Camp. You know, I do. I'm, I'm looking forward to how they connect it to the other seasons. Yes. So. Because that's the thing with this. <laughs> yeah. It's a love novel. It's a love opus. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right. Well, I think with that, we should probably wrap it up. Wrap it up. Yep. Thanks yeah. for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Yeah, yeah we appreciate course. it. Always a pleasure. We need to have somebody who watches all these shows. So it is amazing how many shows you, you watch and keep up with. It that is pretty. Well, and that's that pretty impressive. I mean, and this is just the superhero <laughs> right. comic ones. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I watch stuff. a whole lot of junk too. Wow, that's <laughs> yeah. awesome. That's Plus awesome. wrestling, and now it's football season. So are you going to watch awesome. AEW too? I'm going to try. I mean, Chris Jericho's got the belt. I do love there Chris Jericho. You go. <laughs> <laughs> hockey, hockey seasons, seasons hockey oh yeah that's exciting yes. uh, there are a couple of events coming up if you're in the Las Vegas area this weekend tell on us about it Saturday September 7th <laughs> we've got a teen anime fest at the Sahara West Library oh, that could be scary oh. and at that's library. from 10:30 uh, to 4 on okay. Saturday alright and it's free and then nice. uh, Cowabunga Bay is doing Hero Days mm. this Saturday from 11 to 5. What is that so, all about? Just a superhero kind of day. It's going to be hot stuff. We're it's supposed to be dress as superheroes? It, however you'd like. Well, People might be there. dressed as superheroes there. Not a lot of information on their website there other than them. it's this Saturday. Mm. Oh, there you go. <laughs> when is the uh, Oasis comic thing? Is that not? That is, a... Oh, November. Yeah, oh, okay. isn't that? That's my birthday weekend. It's November 16th mm-hmm. and 17th. Oh, okay. So, yes. yeah. So, Oasis Comic Con oh, coming up. So, that'll be cool. Um, if you haven't checked out Big Bang Toys lately, they have recently moved. They're in the same plaza. They just moved down a couple stores. Um, what would you say? At least twice the size they were? Yeah. I, I mean, think, yeah. It's huge. It's. You and, can. You can walk in there. There's plenty of room for activities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice, really nice store. It is. It's and laid the way out. Everything is displayed is oh, yeah. much easier to shop and browse. And it is killer. I mean, the way that Bill's got everything set up, and you know, he's got everything in the cases that you know would be more collectible or whatever, or Sign, higher end yeah. signed stuff and things like that. And then huge, huge display of Marvel Legends. Um, and we the were Black just there. Series, all kinds of stuff. So last weekend. Yeah. Pick it, picked up some Muppets. Yes, you did. Frank. I'll have to show you, Frank, on the way out. You do. You do. So. Um, Want to thank everyone that's been checking out Top of the Stack on Wednesdays. So mm-hmm. that'll be mm-hmm. coming at you again. That's um, Facebook content. Yeah, that is a Facebook exclusive for Vegas Toy Squad. What about so. your little Sasquatch? You gonna, is he oh, a little Squatchy? Little well, squatchy. I haven't gone on any vacations. I know, we I, went on I, too many vacations this summer. Travel. It was... It, <laughs> watch oh thank you i I enjoyed little squatchy and then we had uh vegas vader vegas Mm -hmm. vader and uh we have jedi jesus from frank i haven't i haven't haven't posted anything yet yet. he's got some stuff my side pocket i do i got a lot of content and he's gonna get his own page so (laughs) well i guess it won't be a vts exclusive then it is now (laughs) we also have another facebook uh, only thing yeah. with Patty's movie reviews. Mm-hmm. You yeah, can catch uh, those on our Facebook page. Uh-huh. Yeah, like Five that. words or less, but not the actual whole review. Well, the whole reason for that. that is if you just want something quick, down and dirty, you can a read summary. a review in five words and then right. be done. Why if you, you want to delve that? a little deeper and figure out what my thoughts really were, then you mm-hmm. can read on. And I'm thinking for October, I might do like a horror movie every day because wow. I have some old ones, some retro ones. That's a ones. lot of reviews, Patty. It is. The I challenge know. is on. Uh-oh. Hashtag 30 day challenge. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. <laughs> BTS 30 day challenge. So, yeah, look for that. But thank you guys for checking out all that other stuff because, sure. uh, you know, we're trying to diversify and try and hit everyone. So, <laughs> we appreciate all the likes and the shares. And Cosmic has been great with sharing and liking everything. So, thank you. To those guys over there. Get your fix. 
Hashtag. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you guys got anything else to close it out? Or I think that's good. good. Uh, like, subscribe, share. We appreciate it. Thank you. Don't forget, we are now on iHeartRadio. So iHeartRadio is the number one place to find your podcast. Mm. So we are there. So make sure you check us out on iHeartRadio uh, along with uh, any of the other places you can get your podcasts, iTunes and Spotify and all yeah, that Yeah, there's stuff. literally no excuse. Exactly. Literally as Chris Traeger would say from Parks and I, <laughs> literally no excuse. That's the Rob Lowe character. There you go. All right. So, again, thank you guys for watching us and joining us for the kickoff of Season 2. We will be back here in a couple weeks. And we are VTS. And VTS is... Out. Out. Out.